Hey everybody, welcome back to The Manny Maniac. I am back with a requested update video. Um, I had a video I made a while back about using nail forms to, rep uh, to repair a broken nail with dip powder. And so I'm gonna go ahead and um, redo the video so I can zoom in a little closer and hopefully get a little bit better angle. But the first thing I'm gonna do is put on my nail form. I'm gonna make sure that it is snug underneath the bottom of my nail. So I wanna make sure that there's not a whole lot of space under there, because we're gonna use that to basically build the part of the nail back that has broken. So I'm gonna be doing this left-handed because this nail is broken and none of the other ones are. So I'm gonna grab my clear dip. I'm using um, Sparkle & Co products. So I've got all my little mini dips. It's the Glossy, Solidify, Prep, and Base Bond. So um, I would basically do everything the same as I have. I've kind of roughed up my nails. I have a little bit of dip on there still from my last um, little bit but that's okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put just a little bit of pH prep on here. This came a little bit wonky, I don't know why. All right, so pH prep, and then I'm gonna give that a minute to dry. So because I am creating a shape um, and using the nail form um, on a real short nail, I'm not gonna worry about pinching it. I actually want it to be a little bit flatter and wider down here so that I have the space to work that I need to. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go in with my base bond, if I can get it off of here. That's not stuck to the jar, it's actually a base bond that's dried. Interesting. Well, that's not helpful. This is a new bottle also. Okay, here we go. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my base bond. And I'm basically just gonna use this and fill in the space that I want. Now, don't worry about the shape because we can file it, right? Just like we file all our dip. So I'm gonna use this little collector by Kiara Sky, and I'm just gonna pour over some of that clear dip. And we're gonna do this in layers. You don't have to worry about building the whole thing back at once, right? We just wanna make sure that it adheres to the edge of the nail, so we're making a completely new nail edge. And then, we can, we can file it into shape. So we're not really worried about that part right now. So because these were square, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit over here. And again, I'm just kind of just getting it so that it is connected and making a little bit on there. Okay, and underneath I'm kind of supporting Let's see, when I turn my hand, I'm supporting the form so it stays in the spot that I want it to be. And again, we're gonna build this in layers, so we're gonna do it a few times. So once we give that a minute to set. I love this thing, it saves so much, so much dip. It's crazy. Okay, so you can see here, we have built a little piece Okay, on there. And not as successful on this side, but we'll try again. So again, I brushed it off and I'm gonna go in with my next, and I'm gonna pull from down here. I'm gonna drip some in there. The only concern we have about putting too much is that we want it to cure properly. So we have to make sure that we're not doing too much at a time. 
exactly the same way as when you're putting the dip on your finger. You do it in thin, even coats, and we're just gonna do that and build, build, build. Shouldn't take us too many coats to build it up, but you'll see. So I'm gonna give that just a minute to set and then we'll dust it and then we'll do one more layer and then we'll be able to solidify and I'll file it for you so that you can see um, how we would be able to get that shape. So again, we're not really worrying about the shape. I would actually say go further than what you want because it's much easier to file than to have to go in and do this all over again. That is like a huge pain. And don't worry about getting it uh, too much on your nail because um, you know, you can buff that down and, and shape it to the shape that you want. Okay, so we've got that there. This guy back in here. And I will put links to uh, everything I'm using down below. Um, the dip powder and the liquids are all from Sparkle & Co. I don't actually use the dip liquids very often anymore in my salon. Um, I prefer to apply dip powder with gel. It just, it's quicker, it's easier. I don't get dip flu because I've really, I have allergies really bad. So I'm pretty sensitive to the smell of it. To do one little nail like this is not bad, but if I was doing a full set on someone, I'd have to get up close to it to see, it can cause problems. So, so here you can see that it is built up a little bit on my nail, right? It's like, what the heck, that's gonna be a big lump, but we can buff it down, right? Same way we're gonna shape the rest of the nail. So now that that's had a second, I'm gonna go ahead and brush it down. You can see, look, it goes all the way out to here and all the way up to here, but we're gonna even it out with the rest of my natural nail, okay? So now that that is done, I close this up so I don't spill it because you know how I like to spill things. And we've dusted that off. I'm gonna go ahead and generously apply my Solidify across that. And I'm just gonna give that a minute to um, do its thing. Solidify, okay, and then I'm gonna show you trick to you have to be careful with this because even though you've put it up onto the natural nail to kind of build that uh you know it's like a bridge you can't build a bridge at the edge of the cliff from here to here you build the bridge onto the land and then across right so this is the same thing that's why i'm saying don't worry about that bulge we need that because this is stable going to stabilize this part of the nail okay so then you're going to pinch underneath Right, see how I pinched underneath to get that to come away? If you just rip it off, it could take the, that extension with it, okay? So you wanna be very ginger with it at this time. Because we haven't added our layers on top to give it its strength, we need to be very careful, okay? So I did put Solidify on here, so it is, it is pretty hard. But what we want to be careful of is to, you know, not not to put too much pressure on it because just like anything, it can break um, if you, you know, put too much pressure on it and it's not meant to hold that kind of pressure. So here I am going to go up the side. You could even use a clipper to clip off, you know, this part. But since I have the file in my hand, I'll go ahead and do that. I'm breaking off here. See, and I have to be careful because I don't want that whole piece to come off, even though this little edge is kind of... Okay, so I'm gonna keep filing there. File straight across because I do have them square on my, well, on these nails. These ones are bro breaking. Okay, and then I'm gonna come up the side and make this even with my side wall. Okay. I'm gonna try and get this little piece off here. Oh, took off the whole thing. Okay, so there's a good example of what I mean of don't be too hard on it, right? Okay, so 
this is the side I really want to show you, but okay. So you're going to make sure that that is in the shape that you want, right? So I've got my square back on that side. Okay, I'm going to give it a little dust just to get off any debris. And then I'm going to continue my next step like normal would be solidify. And that's because I want this nice and hard because it's basically just an extension that I built, right? So now once this solidify dries, uh, I would have to go back and fix this, obviously. But if I had gotten it all right and that edge hadn't broken, um, I would now be able to treat this as if it were my natural nail. I could go in, I'd push back my cuticle, I would, um, you know, make sure that all the cuticle dry pieces like right here are, are gone, right? So I'd make sure I get those off. I would pH prep. And then I would start with my thin base coats all the way. Now, this is, again, it's kind of lumpy here. So I could take a buffer and just buff across that real easily so that that way it'll be smooth. And then when you go to apply the rest of your dip powder, you're gonna use the same process, right? So you're gonna go ahead and put your base coat nice and thin, dip it in your color or, color or clear underneath if you do clear underneath first, which I always suggest. Always put a, a coat of clear underneath to protect your natural nail, especially if you're using highly pigmented colors, which most dips are. Um, and then you're gonna do another thin layer, right? A couple layers of the color. You know how this works, right? Then we're gonna solidify, we're gonna buff it, file it, smooth it, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna solidify again, and then we're gonna put our glossy top on, right? So we're gonna treat this as our, our natural nail. Um, and once you're putting, you know, your clear coat, a couple coats of, um, of your color on, sometimes you put a clear coat on top of that, or if not, you're going into your glossy coat. This is gonna be plenty thick, okay? And that, that won't break. That won't break off of there. Now, if you try to extend your nails, out to here that would probably break because the dip powder is just not as strong and you it takes a lot to build the correct structure that would hold that amount of extension so this is just for small repairs if you want longer nails you're going to need acrylic or gel uh, hard gel or something like that you you can't use this method to make really long extensions unless you're going to put dip powder, dip powder, dip powder, dip powder. I mean, you would have to put so many layers of dip powder on there. It would probably just not make any sense because it would take too long. Um, so anyway, I hope that that helps. I hope that this gave you kind of a better view and a better angle. Um, if you do have any questions, post them down below. I'm always happy to answer questions if I can. Um, if you want a, a video made about something, please let me know. I'm happy to try and customize videos and get them done uh, as quickly as I can. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for joining me. You know, I love having you here. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming content. And we'll check you next time on The Manny Maniac.